I'm the family man and filming is Chloe uh, behind the camera obviously. What we're gonna do tonight, we're gonna do a recipe that I learned when I actually lived in Thailand. I am a chef, I do own my own restaurant here in Queensland um, and I did get uh, quite a bit of training over in London and Thailand. So I spent quite a lot of time in Thailand. Um, this dish is called Pad Krapao. Now that is uh, basically minced chicken and beef. Um, it's chili basil. Uh, it's really, really nice, really can be spicy, but kid, my kids, we don't do spicy uh, for them, so I just leave the chilies out. Uh, but it's a really, really nice fragrant dish, a lot of basil in it. Uh, it's really tasty, so um, we'll get into it anyway. So we've got um, some chicken mince here. So uh, we just put the chicken mince obviously straight into the wok. And uh, like that. And then uh, we have the beef the, um, pork mince. Okay, so while that's cooking in the wok over there, we've got the, uh, the, the pork mince and the beef mince just frying nicely over there. Um, we're going to mix in a bowl. We're going to mix in a uh, nice garlic, minced garlic. It says pork cloves, so I mean I like a lot of garlic, so I'm going to put in a nice big tablespoon of it. Probably a little bit more. And we have chicken stock. So we have um, one, uh, two thirds of a cup of chicken stock. i put that in there. And we have some um, soy sauce. And I think they're both soy, aren't they? Two tablespoons. Two tablespoons of soy sauce. That in. We have fish sauce. Main, one of the main two ingredients. Two teaspoons. Two teaspoons mm -hmm. of fish sauce. So that's quite strong fish sauce. You don't need too much of it. And uh, then we have some oyster sauce. And we're going to have two tablespoons of oyster sauce. So we need another one of these as well. Uh, oyster sauce is really nice as well. If you see me sweating, it's because we're in Queensland and it's hot. And cooking in Queensland is hot. <laughs> so we're just um, with the mince. We're just, you know, I'm using two. I'm using this one, which is a flat uh, spatula, just to break it all up and make it nice and fine, because we want really fine mince. Um, and we've got, like I said before, chicken and pork. Uh, so the two mince, different types of mince or mince mixed together. And we're just chopping it up and make it nice and nice and small. So it's all little grainy bits, like it's just nice that way. Okay, and we need uh, some teaspoons, so a couple of teaspoons of white sugar. So two teaspoons of white sugar and two teaspoons of brown sugar. I always make a mess with this stuff. So two teaspoons, two decent teaspoons of brown sugar. It's, uh, this is supposed to be quite a nice sweet dish. And then we want to um, whisk that all together. So, you know about whisk. And we'll just stir it up nicely. And we'll whisk it until it makes like a really frothy sort of mixture. So you can see here, I can show you just there. Like a little bit. It starts, starts to really drop up, and that's what we want, what we want it to do. Splash on me. <laughs> okay. And here we have um, some shallots, or spring onions. Um, we've got about a, a cup full of onions there, spring onions. Half a cup. And then what, half a cup, but I like to put in a little bit more. But, so once that mince is sort of pretty much nearly cooked, we'll tip them onions in, which it nearly is. So we'll tip them onions in there. And that'll give the mince a light, nice little flavour to it too, while that cooks. And let's make sure again that that's all chopped up nice and fine. And we don't want big lumps of mince. We don't want it to be like any steaks. We want it to be nice and small. Okay, so once you've got your mixture and your, your mince is pretty much cooked and you've got that nice little whisky bowl of goodness, some yummy Thai mixtures. And we're going to use half of this now. There's a fair lot of it there. I'm just going to tip half, about half of it into there, into the mince, and then stir that through and keep cooking it while it's, and keep chopping it up. With that more, oh, I wish you were here, you could smell this now. The smell is just divine, and it tastes even better. But we're going to keep doing that, and we're just make it nice and so it's nice and wet. It is supposed to be uh, wet. 
but you don't want it obviously too soggy. We've got obviously rice here, so it's going with rice. So we've got our rice cooker's been on already for a while and cook our rice. And this is actually a nice, quick, easy dish, especially to have with kids. And uh, it's not, you know, if you're coming home from work and you're rushed, it's quick and easy. Okay, so we've dipped that half a lot of the, uh, the mixture in. We've let it simmer here for about five, five minutes or so, maybe a little bit longer. And now we've got fresh chopped basil, and this is Thai basil. Um, and it's, um, we're just going to sprinkle up a load of it. We've got a whole cup full here. And it will wilt, even if you've got full leaves, just tear it. Most people chop it up really fine, but it wilts anyway. So you really don't need to be too fussy about the basil. Um, it's going to wilt down, it's going to go into that nicely. That's your last step with that. And then you just let that simmer for a bit longer, or cook for a bit longer. And then we've still got the rest of this mixture here. Now what I'm going to do is just let that simmer for a bit. I'm going to cut you away in a second. But what I like to do with this is I like to make some eggs, some fried eggs. And I put the fried eggs on top. So I have the rice and then this mixture once it's cooked on a plate and then put the fried egg on top of the rice. And then you can cut it in and it just, it just adds to it, makes it really yum. Um, so anyway, I'm going to just now add the remainder of this. Oh, actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to do that last because I want my mixture to be, once I've cooked the eggs, I want my mixture to be nice and, and moist or wet, okay? Um, my, my partner hates that word, so she's going to have a go at me for using that word moist. But um, that's basically what it is. Um, so anyway, we'll see you in a minute when we've finished it off. Okay, so now we've got our eggs, we've got our rice. So I put two eggs on each plate and some rice. And then it's just as simple as a matter of just putting the beautiful Brad Kapow in there and it's still up nice, nice and uh, wet. And we just dish that up like that. And I wish you could smell it guys. I really wish you could smell this because it's just, it smells like Thailand. I don't know if any of you have been to Thailand, but this, this is what they cook on the streets all the time and in the box and you can smell that basil and it's just beautiful. So it's one of our favourite dishes here, um, what we cook in this house, the kids love it, I love it. And it's great for the next day too, if you've got leftovers, you can use it the next day. Okay, so Chloe's going to zoom in now and show you uh, what it looks like. So that's the pad capel with the two eggs and rice, right there. Now zoom back out on there. Yep. And thank you very much for watching, so click subscribe and the like button and comment below if there's anything you'd like us to do or see uh, here in Australia or like me to cook for you. i um, happy to do that, uh, providing it's not too hard or too time consuming. Um, if you want to see any videos on Australia, let us know and uh, please like, share, comment and um, so obviously subscribe, hit that little bell. And we'll see you next time on the adventures of Chloe and Taylor.